Hi and guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vipar Spectra XS2000 and the P2000. We'll be taking a look at the differences and similarities between the XS series and the Pro series from Vipar Spectra and what might be best for your garden. If you guys have been following our grow series or a fan of the channel for a while, then you know that we've been growing with Vipar lights since basically the beginning. We would started with a P4000 in Heaven's 5x5 and I purchased a P1000 for the 2x2 AC Infinity setup that I had for a while and those lights really did perform great. We had used other things like Bloom Plus which is another budget brand uh, but really the build quality, feature set and everything with the Vipar Spectra lights just really set them apart as a better option. So if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what's the real differences between the Pro Series and the XS Series. So in this video, we'll go over both these lights, the P2000 and the XS2000. Um, and this really applies to all of their different models between the Pro Series and the XS Series. What are the differences? What are the similarities? And which one is going to be the best for your grow? Really, in the end, that's up to you. But let's go ahead and start out with the similarities. How are these lights similar? And what you can expect from just a Vipar light in terms of quality and feature set. To start things off, all the lights in the Pro Series and the XS Series feature a nice resin coating over all the diodes on the board. The resin coating is a great feature because it protects the LED chips on the board from dust, dirt, and corrosion, moisture, and things like that. So it really does protect the chips, seal them in, and just make sure that they're going to last a long time and have that longevity you need in your grow light. Another feature that's similar between the Pro Series and the XS and the Vipar lights is the passive cooling system that they have. Compared to like Bloom Plus or some of the ultra budget lights you'll find on Amazon, they do have a passive cooling on the back of the panels. The aluminum heat sinks with the fins on it does help dissipate the heat much better than other lights we've tried in the past. Like the Bloom Plus was to get really hot to the touch, where these you can definitely touch the back of the panel. It helps keep the tank cooler. So we really appreciate the passive cooling on these lights because it does actually work. And the build quality of it is great. They look really good. They look clean. And it's just a nice feature that you'll get with these lights on either the Pro Series or the XS. Another nice feature of the Vipar lights that comes on both series is the dimmer knob. We absolutely love the dimmer knob. Some lights don't have dimmer knobs, which can be kind of a pain um, because necessarily you don't need to run your light at 100% all the time. So on some of the cheaper brands you might have to use a screwdriver open a little port on the driver to adjust your brightness whereas with the vipar you get a really nice really smooth high quality dimmer knob that goes from five percent all the way up to a hundred percent and that's something that we really love and use quite frequently with these lights. Both lights also feature LEDs at 5,000 Kelvin, 3,000 Kelvin, 660 nanometer deep red, and infrared at 730 nanometers to help with your plant growth all the way from seedling up into flower, they both can produce amazing plants. And along with that, they come with all the hardware you need for ratchet straps, wires to hang them, and everything you need to start using these lights immediately in your grow. And on top of that, they feature a 30 day return and full refund policy, along with a three year warranty for repairs and service. And on that, after growing almost a year with these lights, we've never had any issues, LEDs burnt out, or anything that would need service. So we're really impressed with the quality and we're sure that they'll last for years to come. But it is nice to know that you do have a three year warranty if anything ever does happen. And now that we've talked about the similarities between the P2000 and the XS2000, the Pro Series versus the XS Series, let's talk about the differences and what sets these lights apart. So first and foremost, the XS series is the premium line from Vipar Spectra. So expect to pay a little bit higher price. Now it's hard to say exactly the difference in cost between the two because the prices do fluctuate on Amazon. Um, but we do have a discount code if you guys are interested. Definitely use it, check it out. You can go to highgood.com and get discounts on all these lights. It does help the channel. And you can find discount links to all these lights in the description below. Uh, but there is a price difference between the Pro Series and the XS, and that's mainly due to the difference in the components used on the lights. The Pro Series features Sosin drivers 
at 200 watts for this P2000 and the XS series uses the higher end Meanwell drivers with better efficiency and higher power output. The XS series puts out 240 watts with the XS2000 versus 200 watts with the P2000. And this follows suit with the rest of the lights in each series. The Pro series will always feature the Sosin drivers and the XS series will always feature the higher end Meanwell drivers with higher power output and efficiency. Moving on from that, we'll take a look at the diodes. So the difference between the diodes in the Pro series and the XS series, the Pro series features Samsung LM281B Plus high efficiency LED diodes. The Pro series also features more LED chips per panel than the XS series, but the XS series features Samsung LM301B diodes. Those are newer, higher output diodes. So there is less diodes on the XS series, but they output more light. And you can see that difference in the PAR charts on Vipar Spectre's website or on Amazon. The XS series clearly delivers more par per square foot area than the Pro series because it has brighter diodes and higher output drivers. Unfortunately, we don't have a par test meter to actually be able to test real world lighting conditions and par output, but that's something we'd like to invest in for future videos on the channel here. But I do have a Lux meter and we tested both lights and the XS series does put out substantially higher output than the Pro series when it comes to lumens on your plants. So what does that translate to in your grow? The XS series is gonna have better light penetration because it's brighter. It's gonna hit more of your lower buds with more power and you're gonna get better flowering on nodes and better light penetration into the canopy. And even though both the Pro Series and the XS Series use the same color temperature diodes, 5,000 Kelvin, 3,000 Kelvin, 730 nanometers, and 660 nanometers, the Pro Series seems to be shifted slightly more to the cooler side. So it's gonna be a little bit bluer. Uh, and what I did is I took the spectral curves from each light listed on their website and I superimposed them. And you can see clearly the Pro Series peaks much higher on the blue end of the spectrum and is a lower around the 580 to 630 nanometer range uh, in the warmer temperature. So what does that mean? That means the XS series is gonna be a little bit warmer of a light where the Pro series is gonna be slightly more shifted towards the blue. And what we've seen in real world situations, there doesn't seem to be much a difference in the flower capabilities and the spectrum shift is not very noticeable. You can't really tell the difference between the two when they're lit side by side, but you can tell the XS series is much brighter and it definitely has more light penetration and output. If you guys were thinking about purchasing these Vipar Spectre lights or you were looking at them and interested, just know that we do have some discount codes and it does help the channel out and support our content. So if you enjoy this video and what we do guys, definitely check out the links in the description. We have discount links for these lights. If you're looking to save some coin and help the channel, we'd really appreciate it. You can also go to highgen.com where we have a ton of other discounts for newts, genetics, and everything you can think of. So in the end, the Pro Series versus the XS Series, which one's right for you? Really, that can only be your decision. The Pro Series is a great option that's budgetly priced with excellent build quality and great features but the XS series is a higher end, but you do pay a price premium for that. The better drivers, the better chips, the higher light output. In the end, that's gonna equal a better yield. So if we had to pick between the two and after using both of them for over a year, I think we would go with always the XS series. They're just brighter, they have a better output, they have better components. That doesn't mean that the Pro series isn't a good option, it's definitely great for whatever you would need it for and really whichever one you would pick or fits your budget is going to be a great option and I guarantee you're going to be happy with it. So thanks for watching guys. Definitely check out our videos if you want to see how these perform in our grow series. Definitely go to our channel, check out our auto flower grow series. We have tons of videos where we've been growing these out under the Pro Series and the XS Series for almost a year now. And thanks so much guys for 10,000 subscribers. We just hit it today. So really appreciate you guys showing all the love and support. Check us out on Instagram from behind the scenes. Join the channel members for exclusive videos and content and all kinds of fun stuff. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one.